Hey everybody, we're uh, back for another vlog, sitting outside this time. Uh, me and Jimmy, are, we uh, actually got, uh, the ice cream truck came by yesterday, but unfortunately we weren't vlogging. Yeah. It would have been cool if we were. We miss it every single time, don't we, Tony? Yeah, we do. Yeah. But uh, I got this, uh, Jimmy got me this chocolate fudge uh, sandwich. Or... So it's the uh, chocolate crunch uh, uh, ice cream bar. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the picture, don't you? Like you yep. could. All right, cool. But yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to vlog because we weren't rolling, so it yeah. was it was unfortunate. Yeah, it's a bummer. But so. yeah, but we shot a great video yesterday for you all to see. Yep. Check out the uh, Tony smashes watermelon video. Yep. Yeah, it's doing really well right now. Yeah, it is. And thank you for all suggesting that video, Nolan and Kaylee. So. Yeah. That was really cool. That that was the most awesome suggestion, if I may say so. Yeah. Next to the Smashing Pumpkin video. That was cool. Okay, so I'm going to rate this. Between the pumpkin and the watermelon, what's harder to break, Tony? Uh, I have to say watermelon. Yeah. It was pretty durable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you went after that sucker, and then you broke the actual platform to instead, the watermelon. <laughs> no, I know. I couldn't believe it. I don't know how it happened because I was going after it. You were, man. Yeah, you were going at it like a wild man. Yeah, but you know, you broke it in half. It was like a good, clean half, too. You could see in the video. Yeah. yeah. That was really cool. And needless to say, I broke more than enough for us to eat. I even took some for lunch today. Yeah. Yeah, Which I got, I got my first decent paycheck today. Woo, money! It was like, it's like 40 something. It's not exactly 100, but I got that late start a few weeks ago. It'll get better. Yeah, yeah. And Buck Cherry is coming to town August 10th. Uh -huh. So, yeah. hopefully I could go. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. And tickets are only 48 bucks. You're just excited to see anybody at show, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. You know, I, I have yet to attend my first concert down here as a Missourian. I can't remember. My, my last show I saw was Poppy in St. Louis. I had to let you check out Poppy. She's kind of weird, but she does a lot of metal stuff. That's pretty awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, about the Metallica Kill Em All album, mm -hmm. uh, James Hedfield does not play a re-instrument. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta say, my favorite uh, bit from there is the instrumental that Cliff Burton does. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's even on the s and 2 live album with the San Francisco Orchestra. That's awesome. That's very have cool. Play. You know, you have to check out a movie called Hesher. Um, so the, the guy who plays Hesher in this movie, uh, he is modeled after Cliff Burton from Metallica. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he plays bass in the movie and everything. He's a metalhead thrasher, and he, he drives a van around. And, um, yeah, the guys from Metallica says that reminded him just of, like Cliff. That's yeah. cool. And, and it's a guy, his name's Joseph uh, Gordon-Levitt, who plays him. Yeah. Wow. You know, it was a good movie. Yeah. A lot of great Metallica mu music in that movie, too. Yeah. Well, I used to listen to this... Uh station a long time ago it was called x103 before it became all 1033 mm -hmm. and they were doing mandatory metallica in honor of cliff burton on his birthday so that that was really cool that's very cool that was awesome you know one member that actually got inducted into the hall of fame again was dave grohl with Foo fighters and he did do all the uh, instruments on the first Foo Fighter album. Wow. Yeah, he did do all the instruments. Yeah, on I heard something about that. that yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Sadly, uh, uh, Iron Maiden and Judas Priest got uh, pushed back. And also Rage Against the Machine was supposed to get inducted this year, but they didn't. Oh. 
Yeah. So hoping next year they get inducted, you know? Yeah. That'd be great. Because they're too great to not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know? Yep. Yeah, they're too epic. Yeah. You know? Well, who would you like to see in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I would like to see... Uh... Any recent bands you think at all? You know who I would like to see? I would, just, I would like to see the Melvins. The, in Mel the Melvins. Yeah, oh, they're pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Melvins actually taught a lot of the actual people with the grunge scene how to play guitar. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of really good drummers came from that band. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What well, a band I would love to see is Slipknot. Oh, that'd be awesome. And to and Duck did. That'd be very cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You know, Corey's done a lot of cool bands too. You know it. Yep. Slipknot, Corn, yeah. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie would be sweet to yeah. be in the Hall of Fame. That'd be cool. Yeah. I could see that happening very much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alice Cooper's in there. Why not Rob Zombie? Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, man, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. I can't wait till the weather just keeps on getting better and better. Yeah. We need a barbecue out here one day. Yeah, we do. We need to bar barbecue and chat live to you fine people. It'd be cool to be on a live feed just Some talking. steak. Yep. Yep. Some uh, sausage links. Yep. And then just chatting with people live on the on the air. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? That'd be great. Talking music and all that. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. Yep. Well, hey man, well, I gotta start cooking dinner soon, but I wanna say to the audience, hey, if you have any ideas for Tony for our next video, please put them down in the comments below of what we can do next for a video. Yeah, and uh a anything you suggest will do so thanks for watching like subscribe and share and see you on the next smashing video peace